Let's see what we can do in here. Welcome back, Governor Wizard. Here to give another demonstration on soda abuse? That's not funny! How did West Dakota become a separate state? The three of us ran for governor together! We got along so well during the campaign, and we were all such former TV celebrities that all three of us won! The voters realized they'd elected three governors for only two states! That's when the unpleasantness began. What was the unpleasantness? We fought for a long time about how to divide up the states. There was almost a war! But we divided everything up fairly and all agreed that Mount Rushmore should be in the south. We did not! You! I what? You! Oh, never mind. What business do you have with the president? We're all here to get him to settle the Great Dakotan Conflict. Whether it's better to leave by plane or just kill yourself and hope you'll be reincarnated somewhere else? No! Which state gets custody of Mount Rushmore? Why should your state get Mount Rushmore? Because they just want it for tourism. But my plan will save lives. It'll become a monument to soda abuse prevention. People will realize that just like Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guys, <laughs> they too can overcome their crippling addiction to carbonated beverages. George Washington never had a soda addiction. Why do you think he needed false teeth? Why not divide it up equally? That would never work. It's not even. Each of you could get a third of Roosevelt. I want the mustache. I wanted the mustache. Okay, Max gets Roosevelt's mustache, Specs gets the glasses, Peepers, you get an ear and both nostrils. That just leaves me with the forehead. All right then, Wizard, we'll throw in Crazy Horse, but that's my final offer. It's not even finished. This will never work. It's just like last time. Thirsty? Yes, but you're not going to offer me a soda, are you? You know I can't resist them. We wouldn't do that. We've got, let's see here, orange soda, cola, grape soda, pop, some more orange soda, and tea. Tea, please. We're all out of tea. Soda? Why are you doing this? Stay dry, Wizman. What did we grab again? Oh, yeah. Secretary Ribbon. Hey, Specs. Max, you remember... <clears throat> Most omnipotent exaltedness, Max Sama, overseer of the nine cosmic planes. You remember Spex, the other soda popper. We vaguely recognize our loyal subject. What are you guys talking about? Kiss the ring. What? No. Sing your theme song for us. No, I don't sing that anymore. I want to be respected as more than just a beloved TV celebrity. If it makes you feel better, you were never really that beloved. <laughs> Sam and I always watched your show with detached irony. What have you been up to? Winning an election. I'm now the governor of South Dakota. Hey, just like Wizard. No, not just like Wizard. I was the first one of us to run for office. <laughs> like you invented it. You just, ah, uh, forget it. What are you doing as governor? I'm fixing the problems in the state and getting it back to perfect working order. <laughs> Did you know that the Black Hills are really more of a greenish gray? I've got a committee addressing the problem. But what about the Badlands? We're making them even worse. <laughs> Sweet. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution. It wouldn't be if I... Nothing. Awkward. Leader Specs. Look, Max. It's our old pal. <clears throat> Look, Grand Imperial Warlord Maximus Optimus, Keeper of the Seven Keys. It's our old pal, the former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Peepers. That's former child star and embarrassing idol semi-finalist, Governor Peepers. You're a governor, too? That's right. I got North Dakota. North Dakota, the leftover state. I thought it was North Dakota, still warmer than Saskatchewan. Hey, be nice. We've got...
got a rich and varied history. North Dakota, hope you like snow. North Dakota, come climb all over our big white butte. Hey! Sorry, I got caught up in the moment. What's there to do in North Dakota? Plenty! Snowmen, snow angels, snow forts, snowball fights, homemade ice cream, and of course, the majesty of Mount Rushmore! That hasn't been decided yet! Right, I spoke too soon. What business do you have in the Oval Office? We need the president to settle custody of Mount Rushmore! Max has the presidential pen. Somewhere. Just tell me where to sign! Great! The problem is solved! But seriously, if you guys see the president, <laughs> tell him we're waiting! Max really is president now. It was in the papers! We haven't been watching the news back in Fargo. We've been so busy with the arms buildup. What was that? Uh, did I say arms buildup? I meant winter paradise toboggan and scrapbooking jamboree. Well, we know exactly what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? We can if we all just keep quiet and avoid another incident. Honesty is rarely the best policy. All us presidents know that. So long, peeps. The soda poppers aren't the close-knit band they used to be. They're just one inappropriate comment away from full-on violence. Just like you and me, pal. Can't you get us into the war room, Max? I kept hearing about presidential powers, but it's all just boring bureaucratic stuff. I was hoping I'd be able to make things explode with my mind. What are we doing here, Max? I keep getting whiny memos about the giant robotic Abraham Lincoln who's rampaging through Washington, enslaving the populace. I guess we'd better do something about that. <laughs> I'm glad we took this time to talk, Max. Keep in touch, Sam. I mean that. Can just give the secretary a ribbon to anyone? It's your lucky day, peepers. We would like to appoint you secretary of wide-eyed unrealistic optimism. I can't accept that. I've got a state to govern. Specs, Max has a surprise for you. We would like to appoint you secretary of anal retention. What? Well, thank you, Mr. President, but I've already got a job I <laughs> Oh, wait, I get the joke now. That's a joke on Freudian psychology. <laughs> hey, wizard. Max has something special for you. Is it a soda? Even better. We now appoint you Secretary of Incontinence. Oh, well, thanks. But I've got to focus on being governor and stopping soda abuse. <laughs> that was actually a really clever joke. Although I should probably actually explain going, it. Sam? Um, Freud thought that I can go after rampaging Lincoln. Uh, Freud thought that uh, cleanliness was linked to potty training when you were young. So anal retentive behavior meant that you were good at it, I believe. So, when you grew up, you would be a very... You would be a neat freak, basically. Oh, Welcome back, Sir Sash. Please, do not execute me. Oh, it's alright. We would like to appoint the Secretary of Homeland Insecurity. I am wanting no part of your corrupt Yankee administration. Who wouldn't want a cushy government job? Oh, I get it now. You won't need right where you can keep your eye on me. Your paranoia is sucking all the fun out of this presidency, Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Yeah? Tell us about that missile defense system again. I'm Make him out of Lincoln? No, two. we haven't. Once him. I get funding for it, it'll be able to shoot down any ICBMs targeted at the store. We want to buy something. Yeah. Is evil, but necessary private enterprise. We'll take that truth serum. Is yours for only 100 million American dollars. I seem to have left my 100 million dollars in my other suit. We'll be back. Yeah, but we Nothing can allocate it. 
See you later, Bosco. Oh god. I just had a funny idea. Can we give this ribbon to just anybody? Wait, can I give it to myself? Not a good choice for a cabinet secretary. <laughs> Hi, Hugh Bliss. Max was... Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Right. Max would like to give you something. For your service to the realm, we would like to appoint you Secretary of Magic and Wonder. Why, thank you, Max. But I'm afraid I can't accept a government job. Oh, oh I'm a citizen of the universe. Well, okay then. I now appoint the Secretary of Labor. Thanks, but no thanks, Max. But you've had about a dozen different jobs. You'd be perfect for a cushy cabinet position in charge of the country's labor force. What do you think my first job was? There's a reason I switched to tattooing. What? It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Don't touch that, fellas. It's the only thing keeping me in business. Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah, now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start in a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. Huh. You're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Abe and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's... It's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich! Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Plenty of people! Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. It's also naughty fun for your next bachelorette party. <laughs> and now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. Now everybody's convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. See you around, Sybil. Mm -hmm. I doubt there's anything new in here, but it can't hurt to try. Nope, nothing new. 
Although, I'd like to take a look at our trophy. We'll see if we can actually do anything with Robo. Where are we going, Sam? After that rampaging Lincoln. Yes. Okay. Uh. Well, he wasn't hard to find. He just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. That's pretty profound for a high school car chase, Max. I like to think I transcend genre conventions, Sam. He's a testy little emancipator, isn't he? There's anything we can do in this scene, right? Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! We need to get that truth serum somehow. Oh. Well. Oh boy! We now declare today April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for Vice President, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right then, Secretary's Day. Though I don't really know what we're gonna do with the carbon. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Hmm, Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano-top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair we're stuck here working and she gets to have all the fun. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. I think that looked like that before, but whatever. Um, no, I kind of have a question. Hmm, that's weird. It says his age is burnt sienna. That what? is weird. He doesn't look a day over toe. Huh. Both understand what's going on and also have no idea what's going on. Same. to appoint thee 
I am wanting no part of your co- Who wouldn't want a cushy government job? Oh, I get it now. Your paranoia is sucking all the fu- That man is immortal, hey, probably. Yeah. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty friends. See you later, Bosco. I mean, we can check. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date. Uh, oh. da, it's a special bargain for you. Still tasty. A handful today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Oh my god. Well, I mean, of course. And preserve the heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. to the White House. Oh boy! Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the Chief. I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. Carbon date We're stuff in the office? In Probably. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. So we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the labs. This is a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all. <laughs> Thanks, Bosco. <laughs> Just brings out an entire bottle of vodka. 